Indiana seemed to be prepared for that today. Both liberos made big plays to keep the play alive, and then they go to the middle, and there's Ramelsburg, the other local product from Big Walnut High School in Westerville. Definitely has the momentum back on their side right now from winning the challenge to getting an ace and then a big kill by Londot. And that one, they got a little fortunate as the set was just a little off. Cole, he just lunged out. Now let's do it all over again. Stand up and hope that the celebration won't be premature if indeed they are able to celebrate. That roll shot there, Londot was right there. The quick, that will be the final kill and point of this first set. on their side of the net, but it's starting to look like longer and longer odds. And a quick set there, the kill by Raider. Can never count out Ohio State, but a really smart time for the Hoosiers to have a timeout to break the momentum that they had built. A lot of service errors happen right off timeouts. Here's Hayworth, that's what she does so well, attacking that second ball. Could be on her way today if she has a strong balance of the match. Saris handled the serve, then got in position for the swing, and it'll be a free ball as Taylor just bumped it back over. That one covered by Londot, but it is going to be a double contact. And that makes it 3 0, and almost an overpass, but played back, but they still get a free ball to work on, and Londot scores again. We saw Ohio State several times come back from margins of this level here, and especially in the first set. Swing it back over to the right. And Gonzalez again. Two in a row for her. 19-13. See if the coach's point can stop Indiana. They've been rather successful throughout the match. Moore with a big swing. There's a free ball on the overpass and unable to pancake it. 29 assists and four blocks. She has four blocks. Ohio State's entire team has four blocks. Tough serve. They block Gonzalez. What a great effort that was. In the middle and the kill. This game today, in order for the chance to come out on top of the conference, Indiana needs to win, and then they need to win their final two games as well for a chance to play in the NCAA tournament. Gonzalez, there was an overpass there just previous to that, but when they're doing it again here, you wonder how good they can get with all these players still being very young. Here, and there's a tip for the kill. Taylor. We'll try to get it. It's the crowd on their feet again. They haven't been on their feet that much. And there it is, the block. As the ball rebounds to the back, no one can cover. Raider blunts that shot, and Ohio State wins 25-20. In the fourth set, we're going to go to a set five, and what a match it has been. Assist so far. She's playing great today. Three kills now as well. So check that, Pedraza. And there's Londot making it three to one. Trying to bring it to a close now. Hayworth in the middle, not so soon. Listen to the crowd now. They're not hushed anymore. Ohio State getting in trouble a little bit. Players are entangled. And there it is, 14-all. You could tell they were in trouble there because a couple of times they just couldn't seem to get themselves in system. The former Florida Gator trying to do something big as an Indiana Hoosier trying to make history even. Listen to this crowd. Tough to handle that. It'll have to be a tip from Gonzalez. Here's a chance for the match. Saris from the 10-foot line, and they have done it. Indiana has defeated the Buckeyes.